abstract or has no implementation here or a very bare one and it doesn't need any parameters so just like that we put it over here like so and just make it empty then in our pitch shift effect uh, this is where it gets a little bit ugly because we need to duplicate this code from process sound internal and put it in um, this one um, what we can do is Yeah. So from here on down, I don't believe we use buff. Buff as in B U F. Yeah, I mean we we do obviously use this odd buff which comes from buff. So we can't just draw a line right here. I mean, we can kind of. So this is what I suggest to do. We'll have an internal. Uh, this also uses lots of member variables. So does it make sense to make like a, a C static method routine? We can just do this. Um, yeah. We just have a new function called uh, um, output buffer. Mm -hmm. I think that's good. Output buffer and it takes, and we'll need a lot of parameters. Well, it will need at least one. And that's going to be the it'll just need a input buffer. Yeah, and that can be null too. Mm, is that true? If it's null, ah, uh, I see. Ah, uh, okay, this is what we have to do. So effect entity creates buffers. It must create buffers. Let's see. Process sound. It has a certain amount of in sounds. Now uh, the set gets restate before we call this. I see. Well, I remember that. I will take away this reset state. Yeah, we don't need that here. Mm -hmm. So this is getting a little bit messy now. But it'll end up being nicer in the long run. That's how refactoring always feels. Um, yeah, so this, we are just doing this so the pitch shift effect, the time stretch effect can have a working end instead of getting a truncated end. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out right now if our out buffers get created at any point. And it looks like they do right here, right? We request the, a buffer, and we ask the input sound to provide that, and then we send that input to the output. And that edits it somehow, um, and it's actually running to a separate buffer. So um, in this case, Yeah. Yeah, so uh, 
I believe this will work. We just have to call it on ourselves. There's always a possibility that something's wrong. Um, and the finished sound thing will need to do a loop that does something like this. We're now going to be creating our own. Uh, you know what? The thing is. Okay, now this is where we cache the input. And once we've finished the input, we don't need to cache that anymore. Instead, um, so we have nothing to clone. We just have a request. And how much do we request? Well, that's defined by the effect entity. So that's a little hard. We essentially want this call. Um, yeah. Yeah, and we can, I think, where is this k internal buffer sample size? Uh, it's defined here. Okay, so we can't do anything from this point. What we can do is provide it to the process sound finish. And we just say, um, yeah, the number of of uh, we can just pass it the buffer size because that's all it will need. Again, this is a little bit hacky, you know, because this essentially means that the other guy, the client code, has to know a few things like. Um, Sorry, I'm spacing out. It's hard to type and, and think out loud at the same time sometimes. Sometimes it helps when you're doing a, when you're talking and thinking about and typing about the same thing. But I started thinking about size. So this is gonna be a size parameter and it's just going to be plus size. Like so. And we don't need to push things back anymore. That's a good thing. And we just need to call Is that right? Output buffer. That's a pretty ambiguous name, but you know, that's actually okay. Output buffer. And yeah, we can call this the buff now. Um, what we have to do right here, though, is fill out the, the contents. So what I mean, this stuff right here, this is important. This has to come here. Now, what am I doing? Yeah, I'm getting a little sleepy because I can tell I'm auto-typing now. I just randomly delete things. It's pretty dangerous. Um, yeah, so this looks okay. I have to make sure... Yeah, the, the effect class automatically takes care of this output buffer. But we will need to add it, like so. Just like our parents, our parent does. And this is actually a loop, and we have to figure out the end conditions to write the for loop, or the while loop. I think we want to do it while we still have... Um, Yeah, we want to do it while we still have audio to use. And how long is that? Well... Ooh, that is a little tricky, isn't it? This is the condition. 
the A window the A win window is the one yeah well it's something like this anyway I'm not sure if it's the A window or the B window to be honest but we can leave that up to be decided Anyway, the A window is the one that starts greater than zero. So this is initially valid. Well, actually this won't get called till the end anyway. But how does this look? I think this looks pretty good. Um, this will finish the sound and terminate. Um, have to quickly check to make sure this function doesn't use buff anywhere, because that would ruin it for us. I don't think it does. It's mostly bookkeeping for the indices. So here's the word buff. That should now just be input. And that's all we need. Uh, here's more buffs. Well, you know what? I can just call that a buff. As long as we don't edit it, we're good. And we don't edit the buffer in this effect. OK, so I'm going to try to build that. And this is a two-hour programming session, so once I get this going, OK. So line 75, Alt-GG, huh? Alt-G. Alt G G, okay. Alt G G. What's going on? Alt G G. There, seventy-five. Right here. Yeah, we need one of those. And yeah, we might need to put this in the declaration. Ah, and this will also need. Um, size t buff size yeah and that will also need a size t buff size yeah and we also need pitch shift dot h we gotta add this guy um Let's try build that. Let's try build that. That's 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 a Hawaiian idiom. I didn't realize. Let's try building that. No, let's try build that. Okay, more errors. Looks like there's k internal buffer sample size being used. And that shouldn't be used here. Yeah, num frames is actually buff size divided by size of s in 16 times 2. Right. Let's try that. So, uh, what will this do? This might, this might make the sound finish. So, I'll try to say a sentence. Here's the sentence that starts and ends. So that ooh, so hmm. I don't. I didn't expect the sound to hit. Oh yeah, the process.